Hello, welcome to Lavender Town VGC. I'm your host with the Ghost Rye, and I welcome back to the Pokemon Ultra Moon Ghost Only Playthrough. Uh, very exciting episode, guys. We're at Brooklyn Hill, and we're taking on our big water trial. Let's just fucking kick things right off. Let's get in here. Let's do this. I'm excited. I think the squad is pretty damn good right now. Um, I think we're going to be okay handling this. Um, let's see if they change this trial up at all. All right, here we go. It's our girl, Lana. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklet Hill. So, trial goer, will you be attempting my trial? Definitely! Very excited. The trial begins. Let's go, guys. Let's make this a fun one. I'm pretty excited. My particular trial is this. I want you to herd the Pokemon found in the po pools of Brooklet Hill, driving them downstream to draw out the totem Pokemon. If I might be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to herd. But I won't expect you to swim through all the pools yourself. I have a lovely gift to help you. We got a Lapras! We got a Lapras! Lapras is registered to your ride pager. If you climb atop Lapras there, you'll be able to travel across bodies of water. Now you'll be able to drive those Pokemon downstream for me. We can finally surf! Very excited! So if you're ready, please follow me this way. So, big mechanic change that they made in this game. HMs are dead. We don't have to have an HM slave anymore. I mean, obviously Tauros was cool. Like that's like our, a really fun way to speed around and break boulders. But this is the first time where you're like, oh my god, I don't have to teach surf to someone. I can save that ability, that items or attack slot. So yeah, now instead of HMs, we have all these awesome ride Pokemon, and Lapras is the first super useful one. This is our, our surf user. So you made it. Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name? Of course, Agatha. It is a lovely name. Just lovely. Thank you. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? I do. Time to do some surfing. I'm thinking that at least one of them might contain a wishy-washy. In fact, it's lucky they both might. Don't you agree? Would you try to drive them downstream with a little help from Lapras? I will 100% will do that. Alright, so we don't have... Actually, no, I'm going to do... I'm going to throw a Hedwig up in front. Because I can, like, razor leaf my way through most of this. And then... I think it's going to be up to our Drifloon with the Z move to take on the totem Pokemon. So let's just uh, kick things off here. I'm not too worried about Wishy Washy. Uh, big Wishy Washy, like the schooled version. That was an original totem in Pokemon Moon. But I believe, I know for a fact, uh, the new totem Pokemon for Booklet Hill is going to be Araquanid, which is a little bit scarier. Araquanid hits like a goddamn truck. He is so strong. Um,. I personally think he has probably the the best ability for water Pokemon in the game. He gets Water Bubble. So what Water Bubble does is it doubles the damage output um, of your water moves, which is insane. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And uh, on top of that, um, it also you can't be burned, and it, I think it halves your damage from fire attacks. So it's like it's fucking clutch on a water Pokemon. Um, let's keep. Let's keep getting these guys out of here. Ooh, we gotta grab that Pokeball before we, uh... I was so so zealous to get in the water. Ooh, and there we go. Got a little Dewpider. Dewpider, of course, being the pre-evolution to Araquanid. Um, Araquanid had, like, a pretty great start um, to the year in last year's VGC, and then his usage kind of dropped off just a little bit. Um, I believe it was... Gavin Michaels won the first regional of last year VGC with an Araquanid. He ran hard Trick Room, which I thoroughly respect. Um, it's one of my favorite modes in general. Um, but yeah, Araquanid's really good. He hits really hard. The cool thing about Araquanid is that, like, all you have to do is give him liquidation. And honestly, his other coverage moves, it doesn't even matter. He doesn't need them. Like, a... A, a liquidation from Araquanid Oko's like everything. It's so unbelievably strong. So you can fill the rest of that with like the rest of his slots with like obviously protect, but the other two you can go with like lunge, which will lower your opponent's attack by one stage, which is really good. It's kinda like an intimidate almost. Um you can give him leech life or recovery, he gets crunch, he gets uh what is it? He gets a lot of cool stuff. He gets a uh, spider web, so your opponents can't switch out. Infestation. There's a lot of like really cool ways to run him. Um, there's also I've also seen people use like really cool um, 
Oh shit, you normal type? Yeah, you're normal type. Sorry. People have run like really cool um, like single sets for him too. Again, I don't really into competitive singles as much, but when I do check shit out every once in a while, I have seen an Araquidid flying around. I think we have Hidden Power Water, right? Is Hidden Power Water? Oh shit, I haven't seen Quick Claw activate in multiple episodes. What Hidden Power did Hedwig have? I want to say it was Hidden Power Water, but Fletchling is Fire Normal, so that should have been super effective. Either way, we get the kill. I just can't remember what Hidden Power he had, now I think about it. Okay. So yeah, there's a couple of trainers on this route leading up to the Araquanid, but like, not that many. We will obviously um, battle all of them, though. Do our job here. Alright, what we got? An X Special Attack. Um, you know what we might actually do for this totem, since we haven't really used them yet? We might want to use one of our Rotom powers, maybe. In that case, I'll be waiting. Yes, waiting for you to overcome your trial. Alright, so we, we can't battle this guy until we beat the trial. This guy want to fight? You want to fight? Let's go! Right, let's see what this fisherman has. I'm guessing he probably has a... Uh, water Pokemon, I would assume. He's only got one. Fisherman Herbert. Yeah, foamy Herbert. Oh, Poliwag. Um, Poliwag is pretty great. Um, Politoad is in my, like, top five favorite Pokemon of all time. I love Politoad. He is um, unbelievable. Unbelievable in VGC. He gets access to so many great moves. He is one of the bulkiest motherfuckers on Earth. But, yeah, uh, Scald, Parasong, uh, Protect, Ice Beam, Icy Wind, if you get the move tutors, like... Big fan of Politoed. You will see a lot of Politoed on my VGC episodes because I plan on using him quite a bit this year. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. Like now that we've seen uh, Pelipper get uh, Drizzle, Politoed wasn't used like as much last year as I thought he would be. I honestly I don't think Politoed will ever be a bad pick for a rain team. I prefer him. I know that, like, I think I've probably talked about this already, but even though Pelipper gets Tailwind and Wyguard and cool stuff like that, like, the bulk on Politoed, unrivaled, maybe by, like, a P2 or something like that, or Cresselia, but... Alright, I'm rambling about Politoed. This is a Ghost playthrough. Let's see what Lana has to offer here. Well, this is a lovely surprise. You're quite the trainer, Agatha. Please carry on driving the wishy-washy downstream, just like that. Alright, cool. So, more of the same. We're just going to keep fighting these wishy-washy. I don't really have, like, a set strategy for the Araquanid. Um, he's got Water Bubble, so I can't burn him, which is my, like, go-to strategy. <laughs> it's been a lot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lead with Ghastly and get a Curse off. I think that really worked really well on our first uh, Totem Pokemon we fought. I think it's going to probably work again, hopefully. Uh, but let's just go for a nice pluck. That's another thing too, a good thing about Raccoon is he's bug type, so since we do have two flying types on the team, we should be able to handle that pretty well. Um but yeah, so I'm not like not super worried about this totem. Maybe I should be. <laughs> um like I said in the last episode, I am playing uh Pokemon Ultra Sun right now too. Just so that I can uh beat that game very quickly, get all my items and everything all set, and then start putting out more competitive videos. Um because again, this channel is about competitive competitive doubles, so much as I love doing a Let's Play, I'm like itching to play some VGC. Uh, but, ooh, where did he help a hand? Nothing. Um, so yeah, I didn't have what I, what I was getting at there is I didn't really have much trouble um, against Araquanid with my and my son playthrough. Again, I'm using a more well-rounded team because <laughs> I'm not limiting myself to what types I can use. But he wasn't too bad. Um, I, I kind of feel like Wishy Washy in Pokemon Moon was harder, honestly. Because uh, if I recall correctly, he called in, like, what is that big pink fish Pokemon's name? It's like Alomolomolomolomola? Alomola? Alomolomola? Something like that. He called that thing in, and it was, it was like a nightmare to deal with. Agatha, go over there. Yeah, just over there. We got, we got, we got. It would seem we succeeded in drawing out the totem Pokemon. Cool. Strike against the totem with all your strength and seize victory. All right, cool. So let's get our team kind of set up for this. Um, we are going to heal Hedwig, even though he didn't really take too much damage. I'm going to throw Wolfie up in front. 
try to get the curse off if I can. And then we're going to switch into Drifloon or our buddy Hedwig here. So let's just throw a potion on Hedwig. And we'll do one more because I do want to have him at full health for this battle. All right. Let's do it, guys. I'm pretty excited. I, I just, like, love all the totem animations. And wait till you guys see this thing. Like, this thing is massive. Like, they, they, I love the way totem Pokemon are so big in this game. Do -do -do, so spooky, so scary. We got what we got. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Fucking Araquanid, let's go. That thing is horrifying. <laughs> Araquanid, one, I think probably my favorite Pokemon from the uh, Gen 7. It's just amazing looking. I love like kind of creepy, scary looking Pokemon and just having this like really badass giant spider. I, I think I love this design so much. So his aura is weird because it boosts his speed, which I, again, like he's a very slow Pokemon, so I kind of get that. But it is kind of interesting, because if they boosted his attack, we'd be done, so. Alright, so let's see if we can get we can get this curse off. Alright, sweet. So we're going to get the curse off, which is great, because this puts him on a timer. So he only has X amount of turns, and then we are going to be alright. We're probably going to die to this bubble, though. <sighs> yeah, alright, so we died to the bubble, but it's because it's in rain. He has water bubble, bubble as his ability, so that did more damage. But we are going to really start chipping down this Araquanid. Um, he didn't call anyone in, which is good. Uh, let's go right for the Z-move. I mean, if we can go... If we can, like, one-shot knock out this thing, I'll be wicked psyched. Alright, he's gonna call in an ally. And it's just a Dewpider. So, I don't, I don't feel super threatened by that thing, really. I'm gonna go right for it. I should outspeed both of these guys, honestly. Yeah, and we do. We outspeed. Awesome. So, I don't know. Araquanid's pretty bulky. He might take this. But, uh, if anything, we're gonna we're gonna really hurt this dude right now. Drifloon, give me that supersonic sky strike with a little, little scary face. This should do quite a bit. I want to say, like, 60%. Ooh, that was so close. I mean, if Drifloon can take two hit... Oh, my God. Drifloon. If you can take these hits, like, we, we are gonna, we're gonna really do, oh my god, guys. And the curse, I forgot I even set up the curse. Ghastly, I think I'm gonna give Ghastly the kill on that one. We took the totem out in, like, three turns, not even. That was amazing. Ugh, I love my ghost team. Ghost squad, you're so strong. And I feel like everyone thinks, okay, ghosts are nice and frail. They're all glass cannons. Fuck that. Look how strong this team is. We just took that totem out so easy. Lumia wants to move in prison. I love in prison, but I don't think it's super necessary on a singles playthrough. So we're going to drop it. We're not going to use in prison. Uh, I think in prison is really good in doubles, uh, especially on like like an Alolan Muck or uh, like a Misdreavus or something like that. But we don't really need that right now. So we will not learn in prison. No, I'm very excited that uh, Lumiere is getting higher up in level. So all we have to do now is just kill this Dewpider. But we did the hard part. We took the totem out so easy. All it took was a Z move and a curse, and that thing was done. I was really—I thought it was going to be a big, long, drawn-out battle. It'd be most of the episode. We'd be doing the the, uh, the totem Pokemon, but fucking crushed it, guys. Feeling very good. All right, cool. Let's just finish this thing off with Hedwig. We come in and pluck, pluck to win. Sweet. And I honestly, there is something to be said about having fewer Pokemon in your party. Um, just because, like, you gain more experience in general. And I, I think the way we really need to play this playthrough in general uh, is just get get our guys as high level as possible. Just because it's going to give us that little bit extra bulk. And it's really going to help out, I think. Alright, let's see. Nice little cutscene after. Great job. I'm so I'm so proud of my ghost right now. Did so good. Very well done, Agatha. Please come this way. Alright, what a very surprising surprise. Who would have thought it? That all those wishy washy gathering around would have summoned an Araquanid, that is. He he even I was caught. Hook, line, and sinker. You are amazing, Agatha. Truly impressive. Please take this. And we're gonna 
get ooh waterium Z we don't have a water ghost yet um, but again I have been checking our handy dandy guide and there is a water ghost that is going to be catchable on the next island so I I'm very excited about that Wait, we're not having a water Pokemon in the game <laughs> this early you do know what this is don't you watch this is how you use waterium Z that's a fun one a little hula girl action and I have more than just that to offer you. Another token for clearing my trial. Here, this is a Lana Original, one of my handmade fishing rods. Alright, sweet. So we have the fishing rod, which is very important, because even though there's not a ton of ghosts we need to be fishing up, I can think of at least one off the top of my head that is going to be awesome that I really want later on. But more importantly, there's been a lot of stickers in the water that I can't get because I can't fish them. So now we'll be able to do that pretty easy. If you want to catch any of the Pokemon you fish up on your team, I recommend Dive Balls. Sweet. Ten dive balls. All right, all right. All right, cool. That was a fun trial. I really like this this area a lot in general. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? Did you really? I did that in Pokemon Gold version, but I don't know if you did that because you've never been to Johto. Well, what do you think? I think, you, I think you're talking shit. I think you're bullshitting me right now, Lana. You did a fine job today. Should I see you back at the Pokemon Center on Route 5? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, like, right here, you can, um... You can say no and then go back on your own. But there's not really a lot of Pokemon to catch here. Because we don't have, uh... We don't have... There's no water Pokemon... There's no water ghost Pokemon over there. I will go back real quick just to fight that one dude. And maybe do a little bit of surfing over there. But... This is kind of nice that it jumped us. Um, did she heal my Pokemon? I feel like this game sometimes it does randomly heal your whole squad. Uh, they didn't on this time, though. So let's hit the Pokemon Center real quick. And then... Is Rotom still talking to me? I never know when... Oh, yeah. Let's see. Rotom, what you got? We got a little Roto Lotto. Right, let's see what we got in the Roto Lotto. What's that one? I got to learn these icons. I don't really know them very yet. Um... Roto Encounters. All right, cool. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, cool. So let's uh let's heal up, and then we'll, we'll go back there just for a minute, just to uh, do a little bit of surfing, and I think there is that one last trainer we can battle. I believe our next ghost... Um, it's not for a little bit. It's near the end of this island we can get one more ghost. Actually, you know what I do have to do? I gotta check on the island scan because there is another ghost we can catch on this uh, on this island through island scan. So maybe in between our, our next episode, I'll check that. Maybe we can get another ghost earlier on. Um, so let's do a quick surf over here. Oh, I forgot all about, dude! I, I totally missed you. Get a net ball. You can see how incredibly eager I was to get through that trial because I just bolted it right through there. Let's do a quick little battle here. Fisherman Ernest. He's got a Barboach. What do you evolve into? I think Barboach evolves into... Is it Wish Cash? Something like that? My, like, main problem with water types is there's there's a lot of water types. I think there, there's more water types than any other type in the game. Th that I'm aware of, at least. And there's so many of them that I, like, forget what all of them do. <laughs> and, like, I forget a lot of the names... There's just stuff that, like, you don't see very often uh, competitively or just in general through the playthroughs. You don't really... A lot of them are kind of ugly looking. You don't really want to use them, really. Typically, you only really catch, like, one water type per game. I know when I'm playing, like, a normal playthrough, I mean, you're like, all right, I have my one water type, but then I really don't deviate from that too much. And honestly, there's a lot of just, like, shitty water Pokemon. <laughs> like, just water Pokemon that aren't that great in general. So... I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, Barboach. I do know what a Goldeen is, though. Uh, that's just regular water type. So, you know what? Shakes is kind of... Shakes needs some love. I know he's like, kinda, right now, it's like, okay, that Sableye is very boring. <laughs> like, doesn't really know anything too interesting yet. But I want to keep him for a while, just because I love the design. I love looking at him. You know, he's a little bejeweled back. So, just get nice, easy fake out damage. Fake out's hilarious in singles because it doesn't really do anything, but it's like okay chip damage. Alright, we'll go for a nightshade here. Also, we're so slow with Sableye. But like, look at that bulk. Like, he takes those hits so well. Okay, 
awesome. That's pretty good damage. And let's, we should be able to finish this thing off with Shadow Sneak. Hopefully. Alright. Golding down! Good job, buddy. I mean, we're kind of... We're pretty, like, high level, actually, for this area. So, let's, uh, let's keep it moving. I want to just surf here real quick, just to see. A lot of times, once they give you something new like that... Oh, yeah, cool, so... Yeah, there is a little area back here. And we got a rare candy! I'm happy we came back here. This is totally worth it. Alright. Yeah, we'll just keep battling our way through here. I want to, um... Again, like, we have to... We really have to do, bat like, battle every trainer we see. Because we need that experience. And he's just got a tentacle. Ooh, hit one of those cool lure balls, though. Alright, Wolfie. Show me me business, partner. Um, nightshade, nightshade, nightshade. <laughs> That's pretty much all I want to. I can really do right now. I don't know when I get Shadow Ball as a TM or anything else. Um, so I don't know. Let's see here. I would like again Sludge Bomb too. Sludge Bomb or Shadow Ball. I would like love to get. That would be fantastic. Um, alright, cool. So, 512 for winning. Pretty good. Decent money. Decent money. Alright. So, we'll keep it cruising along. Um, again, we're not going to really hit all these surf spots just because. I've been in this area before. I, I know there's not any ghosts. Um, I guess we can catch, catch some stuff in general. Always good to fill the Pokedex up. Might as well. Wild Dewbiter? Might as well catch Dewbiter. It's a good Pokemon. I'm actually using Araquanid in my other team, on my other game I'm playing. Um, I love Araquanid. I, again, it's can't speak more highly of that thing. It, it's such a good Pokemon in general. Um, I mean, obviously, it won a regional. I think it won a couple regionals. Uh, Gavin Michaels, uh, the guy that I was talking about earlier, who won the first big regional of the year, he had a great quote. I don't remember the exact uh, quote of it, but it was something along the lines of, if you're not bringing Porygon 2 and Araquanid, you're... You're playing for second. Because <laughs> it was such an amazing... Uh, those two together are, were just so good. Um, right, let's sucker punch this guy. Uh, so... Oh no, I didn't use it. Oh, they're just hitting me with weird setup moves. Right, now I really want one. I, it's for some reason, it's like if I'm like trying to like catch a wild Pokemon and they like really put up a fight, I'm like, bro, you're mine now. I, now I know how badass you are and how tough you are. I really want to catch you. Alright, so we'll Nightshade the Dewpider again. Uh, this one, at least. It's like, the call and mechanic is interesting. Like, I know people don't really like it too much when they're just playing the story. Because a lot of the time, you just want to, like, you know, like, kill... Not kill. You really, you just want to, like, take, like, catch that one Pokemon. So when they keep calling in your enemies, like, or, uh... Your enemies, their allies. It gets frustrating because you just want to get it done. We're just, that, that's why they changed the mechanic. So the mechanic now is like, after I've just KO'd that one Dewpider, the, he can't call any more in unless I use an Adrenaline Orb. Which is handy. Just going to keep him in the infestation. Now, so... Alright, so the way infestation works, it does damage over time, but the main thing is that you can't switch out while under infestation. But here's like, I want to show off this... Show off why ghost types are so good. Ghost types will always be able to switch out. Like, no, no ability, no move can stop a ghost Pokemon from being able to switch out. So just to prove the point, I'm going to make a switch right here. And you see how earlier Spiderweb didn't work? Spiderweb is a move that, again, same thing. It doesn't do any damage, but it limits your ability to switch out. You won't be able to change things. That's why I love ghost Pokemon. They, it, there's like weird little rules with ghost types that people forget about, and that's one of them. Alright, so... We should be good to catch this thing. Uh, we actually we might as well use a dive ball. It works on mo really well in water Pokemon. Dewpider is a water type. I think he just in general looks kind of cool in a dive ball. Matches, matching colors. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, Dewpider. All saucy of you. Not trying to get caught. Um, actually, let's use a netball. You're a water and a bug type, so this should definitely catch you. And you're a spider, so it's cool that there's like a web that shoots out when you come out. Sweet. Cut ourselves a dew pattern. 
keeps going right in the box. <laughs> but it's just nice catching him in general. We can get, um, I'm gonna put the care button on. Though we can get a little, uh, little information here. All right. I found my stylus actually. Okay, cool. I thought I had a stylus over here. Hiding. All right. Let's learn a little bit about Dupider. It can only breathe oxygen that is dissolved in water, so it wears a water bubble on its head when it walks around on land. Yeah, that's just like a really, really, really well-designed Pokemon. <laughs> uh, we'll send you to a box. And, uh... My man needs a blow dryer. <laughs> He's very, very wet. He got bubbled quite a few times. I just, like, love taking care of Shakes, because he does that creepy laugh at the end. You see all his teeth? That. <laughs> What a psycho! Alright, buddy. Get a little pet on the head. And... I just want to see your creepy teeth real quick. I thought you are so scary. Actually, I, get, I honestly, I should be doing this more. I've been trying not to use the, uh, the care button as much. Just because, you know, it kills up a little bit of time. And you guys would want to see me beat this game, but... It comes in handy so much when you, your Pokemon like love you, because they dodge random attacks. They'll shake off um, status conditions. So I know, I know, you know, we're trying to move this thing along, but let's take a quick second, make sure the whole squad is at least at like two. All right, let's go to Ghastly too. Our boy Ghastly, our boy Wolfie. He's gonna need to get quick blow dry, quick blow dry. We'll throw you a couple beans. I wish I was a more serious Let's Player, but I just want to feed weird beans to my Pokemon. <laughs> I'll just go out there and say it right now. I had no intention of doing a Let's Play on this channel. I think solo Let's Plays in general aren't really that fun, to be honest. <laughs> Even though I'm doing one, I don't want to talk shit about them. Um, I've done Let's Plays before with like friends and stuff, I like, it, but never solo. It is, it is just kind of weird talking by myself to myself this whole time. But, I mean, it's fine. I figure it'd be cool to just, in general, have a Let's Play on my channel. So, this will probably be the only one you see, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. But, alright, so let's talk to this guy. This is the main reason I came back here. Okay, what do you say? Do you think you can handle the little skirmish against my Pokemon? Sure I can. Let's do this. Good, my team is perfectly tailored for the rain, and they are about to be unleashed upon you. Man's got a rain team. He's real confident with his rain team. What you got, dude? Veteran Johnny. Veterans in this game are pretty cool because they have, like, in general, pretty tough Pokemon. All right, so he's only off of the Wingle. Uh, I'm not super worried about Wingle. Level 19, though. We're pretty level, but we're going to be faster, so... I think we Nightshade. Oh, he's faster? Wow. I wonder how that worked out. Wingle doesn't get Swift Swim or anything. Maybe just a really fast Wingle. Okay. Okay. So we'll switch Hedwig in. Um, I guess we'll go for like an Ominous Wind. Get lucky me, we can get all our stats boosted. Man, this is a very fast Wingle. Why is this Wingle so fast? Okay. We'll just finish things off with a peck. I don't want to waste the PP on that move. It's weird to me that, like, Hedwig's taking super effective damage from flying-type attacks, but he is grass-type, I get it. Grass-flying, though, you think it would even out. Ah, uh, it's a man-type. I will keep battling on that one. We do have Razor Leaf on him, so... Against regular... Is man-type just water? Is it water-flying? You know what? Let's find out together by hitting with the Razor Leaf. Why is your team so fast? <laughs> don't even get it. Alright, so if he's also flying type, it should just be neutral. Nah, I, I think... Okay, it was just neutral hit. Okay. And a Barboach. We'll stay in on this, too. Uh, uh, uh. It's funny, I kind of remember, like, the trainer battles being a little bit tougher in this game, but... I mean, we got a pretty small squad, and they're all a decent... Decently leveled above the rest of um, these people's teams, so I think that's probably what's doing it. Okay, cool. Alright, so I think we're pretty much good with Brooklet Hill. Um, 
would use move Rain Dance all the time, and he would be absolutely anyone with it. Do you give me anything cool? But then he fell in love. He fell for his red spark, whose Pokemon used Sunny Day, and that was the last anyone ever saw of good old Johnny! The team I battle with now are Pokemon he left behind when he up and disappeared. This is fucking dark. And every time the rain falls, those poor little blighters remember old Johnny. This is such a sad story. Rainy days are the best. No one can see your tears in the rain? Dude. What a super somber and depressing note to end this episode on. Well... So on the next episode, uh, I'll meet you guys. We're gonna get out of Brooklyn Hill, and I'll meet you guys at the next important area, basically, because we we're gonna start. We're gonna head over to the volcano and check out Walla Walla Park. And that'll be our fire trial. Um, I don't think there's really anything, but here between here and the next trial, I don't think there's anything else I have to do. So I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more Let's Play action, uh, click that like and subscribe button. I always really appreciate it. Uh, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you.